one night, my son's question, what would you like to happen when you die, came back to me quite forcefully in the night. I was awake late, because this time because of my daughter. Uh, so the seven-year-old is the uh, is sort of very easy kid to uh, look after. You. I mean, I don't want to give the impression that uh, either of them is better than the other, of course, because they will both have access to the internet in time and can watch this. <laughs> uh, um, uh, yes, my seven-year-old is the karma of the two children, I think it's fair to say, temperamentally, but she still is seven, so still is a maniac and has certain uh, Achilles heels, and one of her big things is sleeping. She hates... Uh, it's not the going to bed. It's slightly more unusual than that. It's just when she's in bed, she freaks out. I hate being in bed. I don't want to go to sleep. I don't like it. I can never go to sleep. It's dark. I don't... The whole um, idea of sleep or lying in bed seems to freak her out. Um, it's funny, really, because, you know, when you're a bit older, you... And I'm pretty close to giving her a pep talk where I say, mate, you're old enough to know sleep is actually the good bit. <laughs> it's, um, it's almost the only good bit. Uh, <laughs> sleep is not to be feared. That's just the bit where all of your problems disappear is re replaced by some bollocks about being in a patisserie with Nelson Mandela or, or something. So, and not in that case, not even, not even that, because you don't even know who that is, because you're seven, you've got nothing in your subconscious. You'll just dream about cats dancing around or some bollocks. No, don't worry about that. Don't be scared of dreaming. Be scared of every moment of your waking life. <laughs> and, uh... Anyway, night-night. And, uh... <laughs> Thanks, Daddy. I feel better. Um, my only trick in these situations, really, is to get into her... Uh, much too small bed and just try and cuddle her till she goes off to sleep. On this occasion, she was going through various obstacles to sleep. First of all, she's like, there's a wolf. If you've got kids, you'll have heard this. Okay. There's a wolf outside, there's a wolf. It's, it's unlikely in East London. And, uh, <laughs> but I couldn't really reason with her. She hits, there's a wolf, there's a wolf, fine. Went on for about 20 minutes, then there's a ghost. I think there's a, can you hear a ghost? So I'd seen off this wolf and this ghost and I'd been in bed with her for goodness knows how long, nearly an hour, and I finally thought she'd gone off to sleep. And then, and I don't think I'll ever forget this, she suddenly uh, sat bolt upright, looked me right in the face and said, maybe I'm scared of you. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. Uh, right? Well, I don't think we'll solve that this evening. <laughs> I, uh, that's more something we have to talk to specialists about, I suppose. Thank you for watching Solar Theatre on YouTube. Subscribe now for more best comedy.